Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to launch Firefox browser using Selenium WebDriver. For that, the first step we'll be doing is we are going to download the browser specific executable. And for that, we'll navigate to the Selenium official website, selenium.dev. Click on downloads. Slowly scroll down and you see browsers here. So these are the list of browsers supported by Selenium and we wanted to download the executable driver for Firefox now. So just click on this documentation. So you see the supported platforms, you see something called Geeko driver here, right? So when we click on Mozilla Firefox, uh, we are seeing Geeko driver here. So what is this Geeko driver? Let us understand what Geeko driver is. So Geeko is a browser engine developed by Mozilla Foundation and the Mozilla Corporation. It serves as a proxy between the web driver enabled clients and the Firefox browser. In other words, we can think it as a link between Selenium test and the Firefox browser. All right, but why are we using this Geeko driver instead of the default Firefox driver itself, right? So Geeko driver provides a major advantage in terms of compatibility as Geeko driver uses W3C web driver protocol to communicate with Selenium which is the universally defined standard. So because of this, Selenium users do not have to create a new version of the web driver each time when they test a new browser version, uh, like how we do it for the other browsers. So they can use the same web driver for multiple versions of the Firefox. So this is the major advantage in terms of compatibility. And this is the main reason why we use Geeko driver for launching the Mozilla Firefox browser. Now let us download the Geeko driver executable. So you see Geeko driver releases here, right? So just click on this link and you see the latest version here for the Geeko driver. So just scroll down here and you can see the Geeko driver specific to the operating system type, right? So you can see here Geeko driver window 64. So my machine is window 64. So I just click on this link right to download the zip file save file and then just click on okay so the file gets downloaded right so i already have this file downloaded on my machine so i'll just cancel but in your case uh, you actually download the complete file right so once you download the zip file right so you can see here geeko driver 30.win64.zip right so extract this zip file you get a folder here, open this, and you see the executable here, Geeko driver executable, right? So this we are going to use the, uh, actually to launch the Mozilla Firefox, right? So let's write the code for that now. Let me create a new class. I'll call it as Firefox browser demo. All right, so the first thing which we'll do is we'll set the executable path system dot set property. Web driver dot geeko dot driver. And here as a second argument, we pass the executable, exact executable path. So for that, right click on the driver executable by holding your shift key. Only then you'll get this copy as path option. So just select copy as path, go back and copy the path here. Just remove the extra, you know, backslash and dub double quote here. So this is how we set the Geeko driver uh, executable path, right? Once we set this, we need to create an instance of web driver. So let's create the web driver instance, web driver driver equal to new Firefox driver. Import Firefox driver from Selenium package. 
web driver interface as well right so we created you know driver in web driver instance now and instantiated it to the firefox driver so this actually launches the firefox driver browser right so now what we'll do is once we launch the browser we wanted to maximize the window we'll maximize the window and then what we'll do is we'll navigate to some website like you know maybe google itself like google.com and we'll search for something here right click inspect and we can use name attribute q driver.get we'll navigate to google.com and then we'll look at the search box find element by dot name is the attribute q is the value we'll use send keys method to send some text into it and then we'll just hit enter all right so what did we do here we downloaded the geeko driver and we have set the geeko driver executable path here right and then we created the web driver instance and instantiated to the firefox driver right then we are navigating to google.com website and then we are searching for some text called text act 9 here then we'll hit enter right so let us execute this code now So we navigate it to the google.com and it has to search for some text into it. Seems like the network is slow. Yes. So you can see here, right? Text tag nine has been searched in the google.com. So this is how we can actually launch the Mozilla Firefox browser using Geeko driver. So in this video, we have seen how to launch the Mozilla Firefox driver using Geeko driver. And we also discussed like what is Geeko driver and why we need to use the Geeko driver, right? So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.